Hi everyone, welcome to Ram's Music Tech. Hope everybody's fine, safe and healthy. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can uh, create a Native Instruments Battery 4 software custom kit of 16 pads and map them to the pads of Casio MZX500 keyboard. So if you've got a Casio MZX500 keyboard and the battery software, you know, it's just a simple way in which you can create a custom kit and map the pads of the Casio MZX500 to the battery kit. Now, Casio MZX500 is a very versatile keyboard, a synthesizer, sequencer, a pad controller. We're just going to focus in this video on how we can map the pads to a battery drum kit. Well, let's get started. Now, this is these are the pads. Uh, let's look at the pads. So you've got 16 pads. There are many modes. You need to be on sampling mode. So you need to click sampling mode. Let's go and have a look at the battery software. So here's battery. The Casio MZX500 needs to be connected using a USB cable to enable it as a MIDI controller so that the software synthesizers, battery being one of them, can recognize the pads or keys from the Casio MZX500. For this, you need to go to Edit, Audio and MIDI Settings, and go to the MIDI tab. The Casio USB MIDI, as it shows here, is what will appear if your computer has recognized Casio MZX500 as a MIDI device. You need to set that to on under status so that battery can receive the MIDI notes from Casio MZX500. Right, so that's a simple setting you need to do. The next thing you need to do is you need uh, to have the cells here of battery to a 4x4 matrix because we've got a 4x4 layout for our Casio MZX500 pads. Now let's look at them. So when we go to battery, we say file, cell matrix, 4x4. Say yes. Now, as you can see, each of these cells are now empty with certain keys in the key range mapped to them. If we want to map the Casio MZX500 pads, we need to map them uh, based on the layout of the Casio MZX500 pads themselves. Pads 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all through till 16. We need to map the cells in battery to the same order as the pads. So, cell number 1 is here in row number D in the first column. So we click the cell, we go to this key range here, and there's a MIDI icon on the key range. Click that, and then go to the pad number one on your Casio MZX500, and hit the pad twice. Now you need to do this twice because the key range is actually mapped to the cell, so you can actually map a number of cells as a key range to or one cell here in uh, in, in battery. Uh, but we just want to map one uh, pad, so which means we need to hit it twice so that the start of the range and the end of the range is the same. So we got C minus two to C minus two out here, uh, which means that the pad number one in Casio MDX 500 is corresponding to the key C minus two. So well, that's just the uh, standard mapping in Casio MDX 500. Now similarly, we go to the next cell here. And we need to map this to pad number two. Same MIDI button, pad number two twice. So that's mapped to C sharp minus two. Go to the third cell with the MIDI twice, map to D minus two. The fourth cell, the MIDI icon, hit the pad number four twice, D sharp minus two. If I hit the four cells here, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, they're mapped to the cells in battery. You do the same process for mapping all the 16 cells to the 16 pads of Casio MZX500. I've already got a map layout, so I'm gonna open that. I'll be hitting each pad and they'll hit each of the blank cell in battery. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There you go, all of them back to one. Now you've got a blank 4x4 battery matrix mapped to the 16 pads of Casio MZX500. The next, you, what you can do is go to your samples to load samples in. Go to samples, drums, let's go to kick, and then say analog kick. Let's choose a kick, 7071 uh, to the first cell. Another kick, 707X1 to the cell above. Let's go to snare, snare 7071 to this, 
So now your cell zero seven x one to this. So you can just choose whichever samples or that you want to load. So this way you have got these cells loaded. Now if you click them with the mouse, you can hear them. But now since this is a mapped layout in battery, you can hit them with your pads from Casio MZX five hundred. There you go. These are velocity sensitive pads. The volume of the cells that are triggered, you know, are dependent on how hard or soft you hit the pad. So if I hit them soft, then I'm going to hit it, hear much of it. As I hit harder, you can hear the sound of the kick is increasing. So if you want to disable this, if you see here the under velocity on the main page of battery, the velocity is mapped to volume. It's sort of assigned to volume. So uh, what you can do is you can select one cell or a number of cells uh, simultaneously. Just control click all these cells and click this knob here for the volume under velocity and bring it down to zero. You can of course set it to any value in between, but let's say you want no effect of the velocity on the volume, you bring it down to zero. But then that means is however hard or soft you hit, the cells are going to be triggered with the same intensity. Now if I were to hit these pads, as you can see, however soft or hard I hit, there it is. Uh, you can set the velocity knob to volume to your taste as you wish. So this way you can load up all your cells. So I'm, I've got a, a complete loaded up kit here for these 16 pads. Uh, let me go to that. So there you go. And now if you see, I'll hit each pad on Casio MGX 500 and it'll trigger each of the cells in battery. Two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, back to 1. So you can create your own rhythms uh, in battery using your pads from Casio MZX500 this way. Well, I'm not a very good pad drummer, but uh, you know, somebody's really good at pad drumming and percussions, they can really use this to very good advantage. That's about it. That's a simple way in which you can map and create your own battery kit and trigger them from the pads of Casio MGX 500. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, hit the like button. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of videos that I will uh, be putting up in the future. Thanks for watching.